one of the issues is that today there is only one of the uh, MAC curriculums being uh, recommended by the superintendent. As opposed to a couple of weeks ago when we had a meeting at, uh, I believe it was uh, Chavez, at that point we had two curriculums that were being, that were being recommended by the uh, board president. The problem is that my understanding is, and this is coming from conversations that I have with uh, teachers of the district, is that they themselves had those two committees actually at two different dates, a committee that had been assembled to analyze these uh, curriculum, curriculums, they have actually, ch uh, they chose the uh, everyday math. Now my question is, how did uh, the superintendent who recommends this arrive to the conclusion that she was going to recommend the two curriculums to the board? Uh, the problem is that if, uh, if politics were involved in this, and I do suspect that that was the case, and in fact, if you investigate the comments that were made by the previous uh, the speaker wouldn't hold if you investigate and you compare the the, uh, the outcomes of those communities that were formed, that they were actually favoring the uh, everyday math. Now that's actually, and there, some of the uh, points that they brought up is one of them is because everyday math was actually done by the uh, uh, University of Chicago and had many successful studies with English language learners and it was also recognized across the country, and reviews, uh, peer reviews and studies have been published by experts uh, in this country and in professional journals that stated that pretty much it was a very uh, acceptable and effective program. Now, going back to the comment that the uh, last uh, speaker made was that, uh, in fact, that they were not pleased with the outcome and so they reconvened the other uh, committee and they have to listen to the teachers because they are the ones who are teaching it and they are the ones who are going to be teaching it to the kids. Well, if that is the case, then why wouldn't they listen to those communities that were formed to actually do this, to take it into the classroom, try it and see how they will like it. And all of them came pretty much uh, in favor of it. There were 20 and out of those 20 or 22, out of those 22, only two people uh, came out against it. I can tell you the names of those two people uh, that came out against it, but then again, I would be proud of insulting uh, members of the union. Uh, and in this case, I don't want to do that, but I want to make sure that you understand that we need to keep politics away from, uh, from education and really concentrate on creating ideas that are really going to move our district forward and start playing with politics. If you, as someone who holds power, doesn't like everyday math, oh well, you don't have to like it. But if that is the best program, then let it go through and stop playing politics. Thank you.